In this video, we're going to talk about structured snippets. Now, structured snippets are what we can see here in this ad, where it says brands, and then a list of brands and types, and running band and squash football. These have got two, actually, two extensions showing. These are two separate um, structured snippet extensions, which have been shown on here. So how do they not clickable? But as you can see, they certainly enhance the ad if you compare it to the one above. So how do we create our structured snippets? Again, you click on Add and Extensions here, and then on the Extensions tab here. You want to view structured snippets, see if you already have any, which we don't. Okay, so you just click to add one. Now, again, you can choose to assign it to the account, which will cover, um, means it will be added to any campaign and any ad group within the account at specific campaigns or specific ad groups within campaigns. Now, there are various options for what you can have in your structured snippet, which you can see here. So it's great for like hotels, um, educational places, travel companies, um, insurance people. Um, and you know, it's particularly good for e-commerce where you've got brands, um, models maybe, and styles and types. Some businesses, you have to be a little bit um, inventive. I find usually styles and types are the two most popular that I will use if it's not, you know, if you're not looking at the, the standard sort of brands or whatever. So um, since we're talking this, this imaginary store is talking about women's hiking boots, let's, um, let's add some brands. So we'll have high tech. I can never remember how to spell Solomon, Salomon, Salomon, Nike. Let's put other brands, I can't think of them now. I don't even know if these big running boots, but it doesn't matter in this place. Now you can add, you can add um, as many as you want to really. Obviously there's going to be a limit in our example here. They've shown one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They've got ten brands listed there. So use uh, common sense. If all of these are very long text entries, then you know it's unlikely that they're going to show ten. If they're shorter names like these, then yes, by all means go and add as many as you can. And Google then will kind of decide how those appear. But keep adding those until you've got uh, enough and you're happy with them. Advanced options again, you can select if you only want to show it on mobile and start schedule start and end dates and um, schedule it to, to only ever show on certain days of the week or at certain times of the day. So once you're happy, just click save. Have that at the account level. And there's my structured snippet. Now I can add a new one. So if I'm talking about shoes, I'm going to say types. And I'm going to say walking boots. New shoes. Um, Shoes, shoes, oh actually no, let's go with tennis shoes, let's make it so we'd have um, golf, golf shoes, that's me, golf shoes, running shoes, tennis shoes, uh, badminton shoes, walking boots, etc, etc, so you can see how that goes, and save that. And there you have another one. So try and add as many as you can. 
Um, and then you can add them if you then at a future date want to add it to a campaign that it's if you right if you um, if, if it's at account level and you add new campaigns it'll automatically be um, assigned to those campaigns if it's an account level uh, sorry a campaign level extension and you create a new campaign and you want to assign it to that campaign you just come into this um, associations view you highlight the extension and just tell it where you want to add it, which which uh, which campaign you want to add it to. And there we go. That's how you add a structured snippet extension.